It isn't Rio de Janeiro. It isn't City of God. It isn't Mumbai. It isn't Slumdog Millionaire. It's the biggest slum in Africa. Kibera slum in Nairobi, Kenya. Slumdog Millionaire, City of God, two global hit films about kids and slums. Here in Kibera, they've even made their own, about kids, gangs and music. By 2050, one in three people could be living in slums, three billion slum dwellers, 600 million of them children. So far in early life, we've seen how the first five years of a child's development can be crucial. So is Kybera seizing the opportunity. In our film, we put together a typical day in the lives of four children under five. From daybreak, sub-Saharan Africa's biggest slum is noisy, chaotic and unhealthy. There's violence, robberies, carjackings, vigilantes. On some days, murder victims left on display. There are no proper drains and no rubbish collection. There are stinking latrines and open sewers. Malaria and typhoid are common. The death rate for under fives here is three times Nairobi's as a whole. So far, four-year-old Nazaru's survived. Nazaru and his cousin Maria go to a preschool run by the church. There are no Kenyan government ones. Preschool gives Nazaru's mum time to work. It feeds him and keeps him away from urban stress and unpleasant strangers. A new concern after the post-election violence in 2007. 